I'm Seamless, and today I'm going to talk to you about multi-monitor support in, in FL Studio. And this weirdness you're looking at right now is uh, me trying to set up and exploit multiple monitors, which you can do, and it worked. So well, this is fine. This is good. We'll be able to explain what's going on. So what I have set up here is I have a second monitor that's uh, in portrait mode that I have set up to be the playlist on the on my uh, left side. Uh, I don't normally have this set up like this. I use this monitor to do, um, like, I read the chat for my live stream. It's pretty much entirely what I use for because it's not a very good monitor. But um, for both, uh, this particular setup is actually something that I saw in a the FL Studio Alpha users forums where someone had had said they, 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 they'd done this. And it was pretty cool. I thought it was a good idea, especially because the uh, playlist is more suited to showing you data vertically than it's horizontally. So I liked that idea. But I will now show you how you can do this in FL. So the way this works is that um, every window, I'm actually going to go to the not weird view. That's this guy. Yeah, all right. So now we're in normal view. Every 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 window in FL has this option to become detached. When you do that, it's good. actually, let's show what happens when it's not detached. When it's not detached and I try to move it someplace, you see it's very much confined to within FL Studio. But if I say to detach it, go back to our multiple monitor mode, we see that I can now move between, just, just away anywhere. It's basically, become, it becomes its own window according to Windows. And it can be moved and put anywhere that you feel like you want to put it. Now, um, note that I said multi-monitor support, not just dual monitor support. This is because, uh, really, you can have as many monitors as you want, and this will go wherever you want. Wherever you can put a window in Windows, like a normal like web browsing window, you can put a detached FL Studio window. And this works for most of the main windows as well. Like you can use the, uh, you can detach the um, the uh, piano roll. You also see that it went full screen for a second on uh, my main my main window. You can put that places. You can do that. You can also detach plugins. Like I detached that Edison I just showed you. I could detach just this limiter. Like if I wanted to, I could sh I could show. I could just have this this one monitor on the side just be only like the mastering chain or something and just have the quick quick going back to that for consulting it. You could also do it for synths. You can detach it and put it wherever you want or you can keep it weirdly in the middle because you're odd like that. That's something you can do. FL Studio conforms to your desires. This is what that's about. But again, um, this is, I'm going to go back to normal views here. This is the result of detaching, which is done here in the drop-down window of the, the wrapper window. It's not actually a wrapper because it's a native plugin and it's the actual plugin, but this this window is present and this drop-down menu is present on everything. So you can then detach. It's not detached. And you can detach it. Then it goes away wherever it wants to go. This is a very simple concept, and this might be something that you haven't really thought of. Another benefit of detaching things is that um, it will it will always be on top of stuff when it's inside FL Studio. Like you see, I, I actually clicked on the mixer here, and because this is detached, it's on top of it because FL Studio is now beneath it, the whole of it. So you can go on top of that and everything else. This is useful for when um, I do have the uh, playlist inside FL. Like I, I would normally. It's hiding because I've changed its size. And then like I, I want to click on it and move, but I want to see my Edison recording. Because I'll be like recording a guy doing something and I want to keep track of where he is. I can click and move this and do things in the in the playlist and this will still be here for you to see it. And this is because it's still attached. Versus normal normal behavior being I click on something and it goes away. Because this is now on top as in terms of inside FL Studio Windows hierarchy. But then if you detach it, it's entirely on top of FL and everything inside it. That is how that works. And then, of course, on if you have two det detached entities, like these, this here, the limiter and the Edison window, clicking on them will then bring one on top of the other in its new uh, stack, which is, which is what it's in. So, yeah, uh, that's pretty quick and straightforward. Um, if you have any questions about that, let me know. I'll try to answer them. And also, today is uh, Saturday, which means that at uh, 6 p.m. EST, 
minus five GMT. I'll be doing my live stream at uh, justin.tv slash seamless R. That's what I do every week. I'll put up another video announcement uh, about that when it's time. So yeah, thanks for watching and have a nice day.